I'm just eternally curious about how our world works. I think that's at the foundation of my being a scientist. I'm Marilyn Raphael. My path to doing research in Antarctic sea ice variability was not direct. I come from the Caribbean. In the deep tropics, there is no sea ice. So that I am doing this is, is a bit of an anomaly. My main field of work is studying Antarctic sea ice variability. When I say Antarctic sea ice, you probably just see a white blob, but people can distinguish the different types of sea ice. I feel so absolutely privileged to have been able to go to Antarctica and see all that I did to get as far as the South Pole. This is a place where very few people, for obvious reasons, get to see. It was a golden opportunity, if you like, to see a place that was the foundation of so much of the research that I've been doing. What I do is I use satellite information to see how the ice is growing, to see how the ice is retreating. So I'm interested in what causes the ice to begin to retreat, what keeps it at its constant level, all those sorts of little variabilities. These systems within which we live and move are all interconnected. And I saw a connection between some atmospheric circulation and sea ice extent. One of the best parts of our teaching for me is turning on students or creating in them or sparking in them an appreciation of this physical environment in which we live. I mean, one of my favorite uh, experiences in teaching is having students, sometimes years after they've left, write back and say, Professor Raphael, guess what? I saw this and I remembered from your class that this is why it happened. Anyone who is able to pursue their interests and make it like this important part of their life is fortunate. Um, so I, I feel that good fortune and I feel privileged to be able to do it in a place like UCLA. I'm doing work that is interesting to me and that is useful for our society. And that both of those, those things make me happy. <laughs>